to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is my review of Lug's compression packing cubes. And remember, these are the compression ones. Lug has uh, a couple of the sets of regular packing cubes. They've got a set of five, which I think has been discontinued essentially now. Um, and there's another pack of three, and this is the pack of two, so that makes it the compression pack. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how uh, it functions as a regular packing cube and compare it to the regular packing cube that I've got. And then I'm going to show you how I pack these ones and watch how it compresses. So if you're looking for more information about this set, there will be some screenshots of the website at the end. So I've got some fact sheets at the end with the exact measurements. So all the dimensions and the materials and all the information you want to see. So stay tuned to the end of the video. So go to the end of the video if you want to see that. Otherwise, let's go to this. So this particular pack comes with only two so there's a medium and I'm going to tell you why it's a medium first and then there's a small and the reason why I say medium is because if you happen to have the five pack there are two of this size and there's one that's even bigger and then there's one I think maybe about this size as well and if you happen to be getting the regular compression like this or the regular compression, the regular uh, three pack of uh, packing cubes you will also get two of these which is the medium and then you'll get one even larger. So there's no small one in the regular packing cubes. So if you're wondering how big they are, the regular packing cube is there. Okay, and this is in the Dragonfly Multi. Uh, and I've had this for, I don't know, a couple of years, I think. So, um, so a pack of three. So there's two of this size and there's one that's a little bit larger, actually a fair bit larger. And then this is the new one. This is the Hummingbird Floral and this is the compression. So it is virtually identical in size and I believe the depth is about the same and I'll show you that in a minute as well so it's pretty much the exact same size so if you happen to be if you already have some of the of the compression cubes and let's say this is how you've organized your cupboard or organized your drawer or your storage unit um, know that these will actually go together so you can have the compression ones um, in the same size as this one but it doesn't unfortunately match the large one or the small one because the small well, actually the small one if you have the pack of five although I, I'll be honest with you I don't know for a fact because all of mine are packed away so if and when I'm ever able to get to my pack of five again I will compare the small one of that set with this one um, and the pack of five also comes with a little with a drawstring bag that puts where you can put all of these guys into it so you actually kind of get a bonus bag for your shoes or whatever so anyways so today we're really going to talk about the compression ones which is the one in hummingbird floral and before I go on if you're wondering what the color comparison between the hummingbird floral and the dragonfly multi are because that's I actually got these two thinking that they kind of go very well together they complement each other really nicely um, and they're sort of the same color profile sort of like there's a blue there's a pink there's a yellow there's some green um, but anyway so if you're wondering there's so the sketch part like the actual outline is in black there's no black on here the blue is kind of more I would say like a well, it's definitely a lighter color than the blue, than the cobalt here. So this is the cobalt. I would say that's definitely like a good solid, like a pink. Um, and that would say to me, that's like an amber yellow. This one is a very pale amber yellow, but they're sort of similar, but it's a much, like I said, it's more pastel version. Same with this one. It's a very, 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 very pale. I'm not sure if cobalt is the word. I might use it like a, like a pale, pale, pale Robin's egg blue. And then this, the pink is actually relatively close. But it's a, again, it's just a little tiny bit, uh, a little bit lighter just because it's a, it's more of a pastel. So anyways, in case you're wondering, because I did get these hoping that they would really go well together. And I think they go well enough, um, but um, they, they're not, it's not perfect. Uh, and then the um, interior has a little bit of a bluey tinge to it versus the cream. So anyway, so there we go. So that's the color change, uh, the color, rather change, <laughs> color difference. Okay, so like I said, this is the regular packing cube. And I am going to show you with the small one how I'm going to pack it. So the reason why I brought this out today is because I'm about to pack away some, my, some of my summer um, pajamas. So I've got them there. So I thought I would put them all in here and see how it compresses. So I'm just going to move this guy out of the way for a second. Hopefully I can find that again. Okay, so what I have here is I've got a tank top. It's not a super thick tank top, but it's not super, super thin. Actually, let's move this guy out of the way. Okay, so... So there's one tang top. This one's a relatively small, thin tang top, so that's two. This is a very thin tang top, but it's long. That's three. This is a pair of just thin cotton shorts. 
that's four. By the way, the size I'm wearing here is between, I want the sizes that are in here are between a medium and a large. So they're not like extra small. These are, you know, sort of average size clothes. Um, they're, they're not like even like, like tight fitting. They're actually quite loose as well. Um, pair of shorts and a tank top are going in there together. So if anybody knows me at all, you know that I'm a big plaid lover. Well, there was no way I wasn't getting summer plaid shorts. And then this is another pair of shorts and tank. And I'm only going to show you this because I thought it was absolutely hilarious. And I got them partly because it did attract me because I do like my crimson large dot. But I'm going to show you this. Um, isn't that cute? Here comes the fun. Okay, it just made me, because I feel like this. This is who I am these days. I'm very, very large around the middle. I feel like I have an extra tube around me half the time. Um, and oftentimes it is actually in Crimson Large Dot. And these are the cute pants, the shorts that go with it. So it was, I got them because it, it was like, that's me. And it also reminds me of uh, of the Crimson Large Dot. And I, would only, I was only going to show that to you because I know some of you guys actually know that I'm a huge Crimson Large Dot lover. So, okay, so there we go. So that's another pair of shorts and tank top I can probably fit another set of shorts and tank top in here if I was just using it as a regular uh packing cube like there's tons of room in here like I could probably even probably fit another set I can probably fit two more sets in here if I wanted to use this as a regular packing cube okay so that's what I've got in there so let's see I'm just gonna put this back here and then we're gonna watch and see how this compresses. So the regular zipper does have two zippers, which is kind of nice. So you can actually kind of put this wherever you want. So I've got two there. And if you're wondering, this does have a top handle, but it's on the side. So on the small one, it's on the side. It's not on the, it's on the short end, it's on the long end. If you're looking at the larger one, it is just like the regular one, it's on the top of it. So they're located in the same place on the regular one as it is on the compression one. Okay, so there we go. So now this one is, like I said, pretty loosely packed. I should get this out of the way. Uh, I need more space. Okay, so, all right. So, like I said, pretty squishy. Now you're gonna look for the zipper that has the V line and it's a singular zipper. So when you see the singular zipper, that's the compression one. So my tip to you is when you're zipping up the compression, just make sure that you've put your, like a finger or two just down and make sure that there's no fabric that's going to come in the way of the zipper track because once this gets stuck, you're gonna be stuck for a while and it's gonna be really hard. And this is not the thickest fabric, so I don't know how well it would do if you yank on a little bit, it might actually even tear. So let's just put this across and see how this goes. So it's relatively loose right now. So here we go. So there's my finger. I'm just pushing it down with my finger there and I'm going to run the zipper across. Now I would have loved a little pull tab. Sometimes I know Lug does put a little pull tab somewhere. I would have liked a pull tab there because right now I'm pulling on the zipper. Um, so here we go. So like I said, it's not very packed. This part's not so bad. So far so good. Just make sure that you're careful going around the corners and especially when you're trying to shove all this other stuff in. So just carefully when you're going around the corners because that's that's where you, where you really start feeling some resistance. Okay, I'm starting to get some, get a little bit of fight on the zipper here because it's starting to get pretty fat. So you do have to keep pushing everything down. So you're physically doing the compression as well especially when it's this packed. Uh oh, that's not a very good sound when you hear that on the zipper. Okay, so you're watching this in real time, folks. <laughs> so I'm kind of fighting with this a little bit and it's getting harder and harder to zip because it's getting fatter and tighter and it's not as, and the fabric around the clothes ugh, are not as loose anymore. So you're really, really trying to Okay, let's see here. I'm not sure. <laughs> so it's a bit of a fight. It really, really is. I'm kind of working a bit of a sweat here. <laughs> this is, this is, yeah, this is definitely a workout. All right, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit worried about whether or not this is going to come all the way down to here because I'm really starting to feel pull on the zipper. Ah! Okay. I kind of feel like I need to sit on this or squish it between my legs or something like that. Hang on. 
don't know if I can do this without actually, okay, sorry guys. I'm gonna put this between my thighs and squish it down. Uh, I don't think you wanna see that. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's gonna work either because I'm sort of standing a little bit here. Um, I think if I were to do this for, like if I were really to do this, I'd probably sit down and put that between my, between my thighs and then run the zipper across while I was squeezing the middle with my legs, if that makes any sense. Okay, so, all right, we're getting there. Here we go. Ha ha. Ta da! Okay, there it is. So, there we go. Oh my gosh. Definitely worked up a bit of a sweat. Um, okay, so, uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's turned into a sausage. It's turned into a very roly poly thing. It's lost its edge. <laughs> um, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's really smaller. It's, it's tighter, like, you can really, you can hear that it's very compressed, but it doesn't take up less space in my bag, I think. Okay, so let's compare that now to the regular packing cube. So there's the packing cube there. Uh, so you can see that I mean, I've got extra stuff in here, so it's, it's kind of sticking out a little bit, but that's how wide that is. And then let's see how wide this is. I don't think it's any smaller. If anything, it might be fatter in the middle because all it's done is it's pushed everything that was sort of thinner on the sides down, but it's pushed every like all the all the bulk into the middle. So now I have a like a thicker middle and a narrower side. So I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is the way to go. Now I'm putting these into storage. Like I'm putting these like at the back of my cupboard so that I have them, you know, sort of put away for the summer or for the winter and I'll bring them out again in the summer. So for me, it doesn't really, really, really matter. Although I would like it. Let's say if I wanted to put other ones and stack this on and stack them on top. Now I've got two roly roly poly ones and that doesn't stack very well, which means at some point if I were to, you know, go in there and touch something or hit something, then it's all going to knock over. I'm better off actually probably leaving it as a regular packing cube and keeping it flat so then I can actually stack things on top of it. So if you're using these as storage, you're probably better off not getting packing cubes that have the compression um, zipper on them. If you're trying to take up less space in your bag, it might be doable, but the problem is, like I said, it's just moved the, the fabric from the, from, the, from the outside and squished it all in the middle. So like the bulk is now thinner here on the sides, like all around the perimeter, but it's really, really mushed and squished right into the middle. So it actually pushed everything out into the middle. So like I said, and now it's really roly poly. So it depends on what you want to do. Like if you want to turn something like this into a little I don't know, like a little, like a headrest or something, and you want a little pillow or something like that when you're camping maybe. Uh, you wanna use the clothes that you've got to help you kind of camp better, then this is the way to go. Um, but if you wanna just take up less space in your bag, I don't know if that would be the case. Now, what I was thinking was if I were to have one of these, I would probably use this for things like underwear, bras, uh, socks, that kind of thing. So if I had my socks and I had my underwear, let's say half of it was socks, half of it was underwear, if they were just sort of tossed into a regular um, compression cube, oh, sorry, regular cube rather, they might get tossed around a little bit as I'm moving around. So the only way that maybe, you know, the compression would work is if you're trying to keep everything like sort of still and so that they're not moving around. So let's say you have something that's, that's very, very loose and you wanna compress it and you wanna make it smaller, then that might be a way. But for some reason to me, like I said, unless you've, unless you've got like one item or two items of clothing, um, I just don't know, like maybe you've got like one sweater and you wanna put it in here and it would otherwise take up a lot of space or you've got a blanket that would take up a lot of space and then you wanna really squish it down in your bag that's probably the way to go, but I don't know. If you've got a lot of stuff already, and it's, you know, it's, 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 once it starts to compress, it just sort of gets fatter on the one side. So you'll have to sort of judge, I think, based on the things you're packing and where it's going and what you want to do with it. So if you just want organization for your storage unit or for your drawer or for your cupboard, I would suggest just getting a regular flat ones because they'll stack better on top of each other. Um, these ones just get roly poly. So if you want to put this in your pack, sorry, in your, in your luggage, there's a possibility if you're going camping, this is a possibility, but again, it depends on how much you've got inside and what you've got inside. So if you're trying to do it so that you're tra trying to take the bulk out of say things like, like I said, like a big fleece sweater or like a big, you know, yeah, bulky sweater or a blanket, um, anything that's really fluffy. So if you've got fluffy items, 
um, then yeah, maybe you want to compress them. Maybe like you said, you got like lots of socks, you want to compress those, that's fine. But if you want to compress things like your underwear, your, you know, your padded bras, I don't know. I think, you know, like you've got underwire, you might run into some issues. Um, if you've got jeans, I don't think the jeans are going to do much for you. I don't, I don't think the compression is going to do much for the, for the jeans. Uh, if you've got like maybe like sweatpants and sweatshirts, maybe. So I think it depends on the thing that you're packing. So if you've got something, like I said, you're, that's soft and fluffy and you want to really compress that down, that's probably the way to go. So if you, but if you've got like things like this, cause this is all essentially just cottons, uh, and they're already kind of dense as it is. And they don't really compress anymore. Like you're not taking any air out of the actual fabric. So if that's the case, it ends up just getting super extra bulky in the middle uh, and that did nothing but it might actually work if you've got like I said if you got like a sweatshirt or you got a really nice um, like a like a cuddle throw so if you're taking a cuddle throw with you you can put all put it in one of these and compress it all the way down so that you're taking something very very thin that might be a way to go but otherwise yeah I don't know so what I'm gonna do the other thing is I'm gonna show you what's in this compression so this regular uh, packing tube so I'm just gonna show you real fast I've got some fun things in here. So I have my compass, I've got my flare two, I have my carousel XL in the plaid gray, and then I have a scoop in the flannel plaid navy. So that's what all fit in there. So that's how, I think you saw how it fit earlier. So now let's see if it compresses, because like I said, these are hard. There's not a whole lot of squish to them. Let's just see if it'll compress at all with the new compression cube. So let's open this sucker up and let's go back in. So, so far, I know that at least it'll go in the same way if it's a regular, put on, oh, there we go. Okay, so if it's just a regular packing cube, there we are. I'm so looking forward to using this guy again. Okay, so I've got all of that in there. So it's gonna definitely close this way because I definitely know it fits in the regular packing cube. All right, so there you go. So that's how much bulk it's taking up. Let's compress it and see if it's worth it. So it's not, just so you know, it's not, before I go on, it's not super packed. There's definitely some room in there if I wanted to maybe put one more, like, I don't know, a couple of small little things in there. Um, but let's just see what happens if I start to compress them. So like I said, these are not soft and squishy in any way, shape, or form. There's actually a fair bit of structure in these. The only bag that doesn't have a lot of structure is that flare too. <laughs> All the rest of them have some real stuff on the sides and oh, uh oh, I'm already having some trouble. I'm already running into issues and I'm only on the one side. Oh, not even, I've only got the round the corner. Okay, so I have a feeling this is not gonna work. You hear that sound when you hear that like, when you hear that zipper sound, it's the zipper really not being happy. And I'm, you know what? I feel like if I go any further, oh dear, I don't want to break anything. No, okay, you know what? I'm definitely running into some major, I'm getting major, major uh, resistance here. Uh, I definitely don't think I need to go to the gym. <laughs> I'm really getting a workout today. Okay, I'm also, it's also quite warm in here today and I'm perimenopausal, so uh, I definitely get warmer than I should. Oh, come on, gush, gush, gush. Real time, folks. <laughs> and by the way, that's the other thing I don't like about this is that the, uh, the little, whatever, the, the, the um, what's this called, the top handle, uh, disappears when it becomes a, com uh, a compressed package and, uh, and then you end up having to just sort of grab it. <laughs> Uh-oh, okay, so see, I've got, I've got a lot of, right here, there's a whole bunch of corners of all the bags coming in together. Oh, tons and tons of resistance here. <sighs> so this is not an easy thing. This, like I said, this really takes, uh oh, yeah, I've got, I'm running into some major issues here. Um, you do need some strong hands to do this if you're really compressing big stuff. Um, uh oh, yeah, you know what? That's it. Do you, like, look at that. I can't go any, I can't squish that down anymore. There's a little bit of squish there, but like that's where the, that's where the buckles are. That's where the D rings are, like right there. I'm not getting, I think that's as far as I can get it. 
I, I really genuinely feel like if I go any further, I'm going to rip something and I'll break the zipper. So, okay. So did that take away some of the bulk? Maybe. Um, but because I wasn't successful at doing the entire bag, um, and now, like, I, I would have liked a second zipper over here. That would have been a good thing to have two zippers there because then I would have been able to maybe compress this end a little bit more and get it around the corner, and then there would only just be this side here that wouldn't be able to compress. Um, but if you see, do you see it sticking out here? So it's what it's done is it's moved everything out of the way and pushed it that way, which is why I'm having a lot of trouble here because everything that was over here has been shoved over and is now sticking out here. And now the bulk is coming up onto this side. And that's why I'm having trouble actually getting this in. So yeah, I think if I go any further, the most I'm gonna get to is about there, and then I'm gonna run into this. And this is where the like all the hardware is. I think that's where for some reason like three of the bags have like their hardware just meeting up in the same spot. So um, I think it's not worth it. So the good thing is, at least now I know <laughs> that for, you know, things like storing my lug bags, not a good idea. Unless you want to throw, you know, like something soft in there. You got one lug bag, maybe. But I've got a bunch, as you saw in there. It's not worth it. So for me to spend the extra money at this point for the compression cubes, so I think the compression cubes are for two, for the, for the small one and the medium one. So for the two, for the pack of two, these guys, um, it is $39.99 US, I think. Um, and I think I got them on sale for $29, which is the only reason why I got them. I wanted to try a couple just to see. Um, I, and I, I, I'll be honest with you, I think the pack of three regular ones, which is two of the medium size, so two of those and then one larger one. I think they're 44. So I think your your better buck, your bang, your better bang for the buck is to get the regular ones. Uh, the regular compression, sorry, the regular packing cubes that don't have the compression, because you get two medium, one large for four dollars more. Now, if compression's your thing, like I said, if you know you're carrying around, let's say you're the kind of person that likes to always, always carry like a good fleece sweater or like a like a like a thin fleece. Uh, you know, coat with you and maybe a pair of, you know, a pair of extra socks, then, and, but you want to carry it in your work bag, then a compression cube would be the way to go because they would take everything down from being really thick and, and squishy uh, to something very, 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 very thin. Um, so that would be the way to go, I think, if you were trying to do that. I'm just trying to look around and see if I have anything that I can just show you quickly without having to leave the camera. Um, and I don't. So, but anyways, my point is, if you have something thick and bulky that is really soft, that when you squish it down, you can take the air out of it, then the compression cube is the way to go. If you've got stuff that's already really, really structure or thick or doesn't, or is already very dense, like things like cotton, things like, um, lug bags, um, anything that, that doesn't have a lot of squishability, you're unfortunately going to be much better off just getting a regular packing cube. But the good thing is the regular packing cubes actually cost less. They're a much, much better deal. So if, uh, if, you're, if your goal is storage inside a cupboard or in a storage unit or in a drawer, um, and you want to be able to stack them on top of each other, get the regular one. If you're trying to go camping and you're trying to really squish a uh, very thick, bulky, but fluffy items into something thinner, or you want things to get really, really sort of tight together so that they don't move around in your bag, then get the compression cube. Otherwise, save yourself some money and just get the regular ones. And I think the regular ones do come on sale relatively frequently. Um, and there's, I think, more colors right now as well. I think there's a ton of like solids and there's a ton of just, you know, prints as well. Now, the thing I love about the print, sorry, about the regular one too, is that the print on the side, is the same as the print on the bottom. Um, because the one thing about some of the, the compression ones is unfortunately, you have the print here, which is an outside print, and then you have an interior print. So that's the interior print. Now, for example, let's say you like olive green, then the, if you love olive green, the olive green is only gonna be on the bottom and you're not gonna see it very often because most of the time you're gonna show this part and you're gonna show this part. So if you happen to really love olive green but you don't like that wildflower print that's, that they're, they're putting a lot of these days, um, you're gonna get a lot of wildflower olive on the side, you're gonna see that and you're never gonna see the actual 
solid on the bottom. And I think Heather Indigo is that way. So it's Heather Indigo on the bottom, but then you got that fern print on the around the outside. So if, if the favorite color that you have is the Heather Indigo, you're not going to see it. Uh, so with the compression ones, they've got the interior print on the interior and the exterior print on the bottom, and it's on the bottom, not the top. But if you have the regular ones, it's the same print all the way around. So it's a little bit more consistent, and it's usually the outside print, not the inside print. So. So if that matters to you at all, that's something to think about. Um, and uh, the other thing about the regular ones is you're always gonna have access to the top handle. Whereas when you have the, when you have them in compression mode, the compression part takes away the ability to have that top handle. So there we go, I hope that helps you. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free, to, feel free to put them down below. Now these days I am not great at answering my um, like my comments very quickly. It seems like I've got like a few days turnaround, sometimes more. Um, I'm just getting so, so, so busy. And unfortunately, because this channel doesn't pay me, <laughs> um, I unfortunately have to put all of my energy on things that are uh, slightly, not, not a lot, but slightly more lucrative. So anyway, so if you want me to answer you right away, please, please, please support this channel. Uh, subscribe, like the channel, like the uh, like the video. Um, and there is a buy me a coffee that I actually have uh, signed up for in case for some reason anybody actually wants to uh, put a little extra money in the kitty. That would be incredibly uh, awesome and would be uh, very, very, very much appreciated. And I think one day I will talk about it because I feel like I want to do a little extra something for those of you who have given and those of you who have given from the bottom my heart thank you so so much for the extra support it means the world to me um but um i think i might do a little thing where if you are uh, a supporter uh, of the channel i will maybe send a little something your way uh, i'm kind of working on it i may not be able to do it right now but maybe in the new year probably sometime in january i'm going to come up with a little program where if you actually are contributing uh to the buy, buy me a coffee then i will actually be able to send you a little thank you as well that you can keep um so i'm working on it i'm working on some fun stuff right now so i'm brainstorming i've got some ideas jotted down i would love to be able to do that so i'm going to do another video just on that way in the future probably in the new year like i said uh but right now like i said if i don't get your comments right away it's not because i'm not trying to get to them i will eventually get there but if you have any questions please feel free because i know a lot of people even who read the comments will also answer you as well so there we go thank you so much for watching take care and i'll see you next time